Hello, Steve White, Trickboy89 for Steve Arts89. Well, very good forward. Um, up front, I haven't watched the whole episode. I just watched the first 10 minutes because I wanted to get a bit of a idea of um, what the show was like now that they've sort of changed the uh, the era and the period. Um, now, Farragut, Starship Farragut um, started off around 2006, 2007. They did a couple of shorts, which were a little shaky, and they did a couple of full episodes, which were a little shaky. Um, not the best production value, but um, the, not the best acting, but the, the, the characters were interesting, the stories were interesting, the ship was interesting, it was set in the original series era, of course, um, the effects were nice, and I don't know, but then by the time they got to like the third episode, they started to improve the production values, and they, I think they had probably three or four episodes in a row that were quite decent production values, sort of on the level of um, you know, Star Trek Continues or um, New Voyages or Phase 2. Um, and I quite enjoyed it. Um, it was nice to see a different ship because you didn't have those issues of of it contradicting anything in, in the original Star Trek. You didn't have to look at actors trying to portray Kirk and Spock. These were new characters. And um, it's nice that they've had the same actors come back and play the same roles for, uh, well, what, 17, 18 years now? Um, it's quite nice to see them sort of, you know, come along with us with the journey and all that. It's nice, but um, I was a little surprised to see them jump from the original series era where the um, the, the first series was, because it took like 10 years. I think the last episode they did was in 2016, so they were in production for about 10 years in the original series era, and they did, I think, seven full episodes and I think three shorts, um, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, they've, now they've jumped to the motion picture era, and I'm a little bit disappointed that they skipped the motion picture era, like the Star Trek, the motion picture era. They've gone straight to like the Wrath of Khan, Search for Spock sort of era, and I would have liked for them to have done a little bit of bridging of the gap between those t two eras, because there's that sort of lost um, period between the original series and the motion picture, those couple of years, and then the first five-year mission that they did after the motion picture before the Wrath of Khan, and then the Rafa Khan did another five-year um, mission. Um, so there were two f more five-year missions of the original Enterprise in between the motion picture and um, the Rafa Khan, because at that point it was like a, um, a training vessel. But before that, they'd done three five-year missions, and then Pike did one or two as well, so five five-year missions. So there are quite a few of them. But uh, So getting past that, I was kind of excited, because my favourite era probably is the movie era, and it's the one we have the least amount of content. We've got, like the six movies, but that's only 12 hours compared to like 80 episodes of the original series, 178 episodes of the original of Next Generation. So, you know, it hasn't been explored as well as it could have, and there is that era between the movies and the Next Generation, which I can't believe they still haven't mined yet. But, um, because they could have done it, and we could have had, you know, characters from the original series and the movies that could have appeared because... They would have been in the same time frame. They wouldn't have had that 100-year jump to Next Generation that Gene did to sort of separate the shows when they had that initial sort of anxiety about launching a new Star Trek show and separating it while still having it be connected and blah, blah, blah. So I found it interesting that they were doing this in the first place. But um, looking at it, it looks okay. Um, I was expecting it to be a little more um, polished. The sets look good. The costumes look good. Um, the acting's the same as it ever was, these people, it's the same characters, but it's nice to see them, you know, eight years later, they're still there. Captain Carter has been captured, of course, by Klingons, and um, uh, what's her name's husband has been captured as well, and she was on another ship, and she had to have them basically take her to the Farragut, which is now um, a Miranda-class vessel like the Reliant, um, looks just like the Reliant, and um, yes, the sets look good, the... the um, the diagrams, the kudograms and all that, because he did the original ones for um, Star Trek IV and that. They all look good. Um, I, I feel like they've transitioned. I think they've done it. They've successfully done it. But um, there's a few little textures of a few little sets and things. But, but I'm like, but then again, it's not the Enterprise. I can't say, well, that doesn't look like it did on the Enterprise set because it's not the Enterprise. That's the, the brilliance of doing a series, you know, based on your own ship with your own stories, with your own legacy, you can't make a mistake, you can't do anything wrong. Um, it's really just a matter of is it fun and, you know, is it good? And so far, for the most part, the episodes have been good and they've been fun. 
like I said, some of the first couple ones were pretty shaky with the production, but once they got the production up, then it's just a matter of individual stories and individual performances, which are inconsistent, but you know. Overall, it looks good. I'm impressed. I'm looking forward to sitting down. I still haven't watched um, the one Josh Kay, Josh Takei was in that took like 30 years to finish. I've had that sitting there for like a year or two to watch. I'm going to sit down and have a Star Trek fan film night, I swear to God, soon. So I want to watch this, and I want to do a proper review. But this is just my first impressions for the first 10 minutes. Looks good. I'm looking forward to the rest of it. Um, I kind of am glad they're in this, this, this era, but I kind of feel like they missed an era. I would have liked to have seen them do that and then move on to this. And it's nice to see them progressing, and, and, and it's nice. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming we're going to see more from this crew in the next few years, and, and that's nice because... I like the fan films. They're fun. They're a fun expansion of the Star Trek universe.